How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. And I'm John from Running Warehouse. Today we are going to be taking a first look at an all new offering within the Ultra line. We've got the Ultra Forward Experience. Now Ultra has been known for two things over the years. A wider, more roomy, natural toe box and what Ultra calls balance cushioning. In essence, it's a zero drop design. But now with the Ultra Forward Experience, we've got a little bit of a radical departure. We got a four millimeter drop. A radical departure indeed. And it's got me wondering how Ultra Loyalists are gonna respond to this shoe. Are they gonna be interested in that Ultra natural foot movement with some drop? And also how are runners who have been a little intimidated by this brand going to respond to it as well. I found myself as somebody who would stay away from zero millimeter drops because of my training needs, putting a lot of miles in in a week. And I just didn't really have the time to be able to work in a zero millimeter drop. But now with this offering, it seems to be more approachable for a wider network of runners and I would be included in that. Yeah, you know, I think we're gonna see both of those types of runners try out this shoe, but it's worth noting, it is a new model. It's gonna have its own tech, its own specs, and its own feel. And I think first on up, we'll start with the midsole. We've got a full length compression molded EVA, runs from the forefoot to the heel, a decent amount of protection underfoot, but nothing too crazy. About 32 mils in the heel, 28 in the forefoot for a men's size nine. As we move on down to the outsole, you're gonna see a little bit of rubber in the forefoot and the heel, a lot of exposed midsole, and that's just gonna help keep weight down. Really not a lot of rubber here. Then finishing the shoe off with the upper, we've got a simple knit design, a little bit of cushioning in the heel for a nice comfortable heel fit. In the midfoot and forefoot, we're gonna see that standard ultra fit, so probably in line with what you'd expect from a Torin. Yeah, and Connor, you said the shoes is gonna live by itself, and you're right about that, is it? It is a unique offering. However, I couldn't help but notice some similarities it had to another ultra shoe we've seen recently, which is the Via Olympus. So looking at the outsole, you notice this wider net base, as well as the outsole layout, very similar to that of the Via Olympus. And then you take a look at this rocker geometry that's very similar to the Via Olympus as well. And you take that rocker geometry and you pair it now with the four millimeter drop. And it's really got me wondering how those heel to toe transitions are gonna feel. And it appears that it's gonna kind of give you that nice smooth offering that you would want in a daily trainer. Yeah, you know that four millimeter drop paired with the rocker geometry is really gonna set this shoe apart. And really there's nothing in the ultra line that's gonna feel quite like this shoe. It's also worth noting the price point. Coming in at $140, really good value. And it's gonna lie right in line with a lot of those other standard daily trainers on the market. And that's really what this shoe is. Reliable daily trainer. Like I said, not crazy high stack, but enough protection to go longer runs, easy days, recovery days, and feeling the weight of this shoe, pretty lightweight, about low eight ounces for a men's nine, low seven ounces for a women's eight. So it is going to be light enough to potentially pick it up for some easier workouts. Right. Yeah, I could see that. So there you have it. For the first time, Ultra now has an offering that's going to be able to compete across other models and other brands within the category of a go-to reliable daily trainer. So if you're looking to try the Ultra Forward experience for yourself, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.